All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, so I'm just gonna do a uh, quick post-game uh, review of adult uh, Steam and Cinders here. Um, so uh, this is a pretty new game. Um, and so we will get started here. I will just load up my character here. So, um, yeah, so you can see here, um, your playtime might vary. Um, uh, I have about seven-ish hours, I would say. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I will say I did enjoy the game a fair bit. Um, I'm max level. Um, I haven't done everything, but I think I'm finished. Um, or I should say, I think I'm finished with the game. Um, I have beaten it and whatnot, but, um, so yeah. The game isn't extremely difficult, um, but that's not, you know, necessarily a, uh, a huge issue. It is a, uh, a brand new Metroidvania that has just come out, and, uh, yeah, so, let's see. Um, the biggest thing for me is, uh, so first off, you can see here, there's a big, like, skill tree that, uh, you, as you unlock abilities and stuff, more of the stuff becomes, uh, available and whatnot, um, and, uh, so, um, the biggest thing is, and one of the, th the main sort of crux of the combat system is you've got these, uh, those, these orbs up here by your health bar, and you use those as a resource, um, and you unlock more as the game goes on. And they are your bullets for your gun, but they're also uh, what you end up using um, when you do, as you like progress and you unlock like these special attacks. And and so part of the the combat system that. It doesn't quite work for me, or it, uh, what feels a little weird is, um, and we'll get into it in a second here, um, is, uh, uh, the, the thing that becomes a little weird for me is you have to kind of decide, do you want to, you know, use it for special moves, or do you want to use it to just fire the gun, and, um, the bigger thing for me that it really uh, uh, that really became apparent is uh, because of the fact that in the game your character has no like none of the special moves have hyper armor. So if I get hit while I'm trying to do something, you know I you see there I stop right. Well, that's the same for any of these special moves if I try and do them, where, you know, if I'm in the middle of them, I'll spend the resource and then not get an effect. So, a lot of them, I find it's just more, you know, it can be far more efficient to just fire the gun. Especially because, if I go back here, uh... You'll see the gun deals a lot of damage. Now, the other thing you'll notice is the green bar above enemies' heads uh, is a break meter, and if you break an enemy's guard, um, they will get stunned, as you saw there, and then they will take increased damage for a short time. Um, and then hitting enemies while they're not guard broken uh, is also how you regenerate ammunition. Um, so that's really neat. Um, I think the biggest, uh, one of the biggest sort of things you'll have to decide for yourself as well is um, in combat in general, um, you have to decide between like firing the gun or like using any of the special moves. And because they're on the same, re because they require the same resource, a lot of times uh, in general combat, I didn't find that I really needed the special moves, and the problem is against bosses, uh, especially as they get later, any because like I said, anytime you get hit, um, you stop 
the movement, and if you're not far enough into it, you may not even hit the uh, hit the boss with it. And it can always just feel kind of like, okay, I should have just shot the boss. Um, now, bosses as well, uh, the boss fights, all the bosses have that sort of stagger bar as well. And if you stagger a boss, that's how you can get um, sort of big, like quote unquote, big uh, sort of, you can get chunks of health off the boss where uh, bosses tend to have a lot more defense, I guess you could call it. They uh, they seem to take a lot less damage while they're not staggered. Uh, the only, uh, I won't show it, the only, um, and this does come as, this is where I, I consider it a bit of a negative. Um, pardon me. The only instance of this not being the case, and like I said, I'm not going to show it on here on screen here or anything, so no spoilers, but the final boss, unfortunately, I don't know if this is just, you know, I don't quote-unquote deal, you know, stagger fast enough, or his, you know, the, the final boss's, um, you know, sort of stagger regenerates too fast, because that is something that um, bosses uh, in the game will actually, like, slowly over time regenerate their stagger bars. Um, but the final boss in the game, um, he basically functions as if he has infinite guard, which then means that, you know, for example, you could see, like, throughout the entire game, you've had this break mechanic, and it just doesn't work on the final boss. Which, I mean, I understand, but it also then, um, turns off, like, you know, a ton of the equipment that says, you know, has break, you know, has break percentage or, you know, ads for, you know, and whatnot. And I don't know, it, it feels a little odd. Um, like I said, I think it's by design. And I mean, it does make for a more tense encounter, but it also then just means like one of the main combat mechanics for the entire game he just, you know, that the final boss kind of just ignores, right? So, you know, that one for me is, uh, uh, it, it's, I don't, I don't quite agree with it, but I understand it narratively. Um, and I mean, your mileage will vary when you get there. Um, so I, I will say though, um, I have thoroughly enjoyed the game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sort of play it again. Um, not to, ooh, there's not really any reason to, but um, as a Metroidvania, um, it, the game does feel fairly story-driven, so I'm not 100% sure. Like, I didn't encounter any sort of, uh, any ways that I could think of to sequence break. Um, and uh, I will say, the, the biggest quote-unquote problem I ended up having was, um, uh, was a bug. Uh, in one of the areas, which has since been fixed, um, where uh, in one of the um, areas you end up locked into a, uh, a set of, you know, like an area and a, uh, um, and then a boss fight afterwards. And uh, I encountered a bug where um, uh, my healing flasks, which, you know, you can see up there were um, up in the, uh, the top right there where it says to push uh, right bumper. Um, where those weren't being, you know, those weren't regenerating for me because I had entered the uh, the area with none, and then when I when it respawned me, I still had none, and I went, oh, so this was that was sort of the main reason that um, that was really difficult for me. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, I've uh, like I said, I'm I feel like I'm finished with this, and uh, if you like roguelikes. Um, it's uh, it it reminds me kind of of games like The Last Faith if you played it or um, you know other games like that. Um, I, I have enjoyed it. Also, uh, you get to rescue corgis, so that's you know that is uh, hundred percent you know that is always a bonus, and uh, you can go pet the dog, so uh, that's always fun. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, so yeah, you can pick it up on Steam or. Other places, I'm not 100% sure. This isn't, you know, I, I don't, no, uh, no affiliation with the, uh, with the team here at all. But, um, anyways, yeah. So, thank you all so much for watching, and, uh, let me know down in the comments, I suppose, uh, 
if you picked it up, if you liked it, if if you didn't. And uh, yeah, thank you all. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. And I uh, hope you have a good good day. And I uh, hope you enjoy yourself in uh, in Gestalt's Steam and Cinders. All right, have a good one.